So, have you ever heard of the Hammer Museum? No, I'm not talking about the artsy-fartsy Hammer Museum in Los Angeles. I'm talking about the real Hammer Museum in Haines, Alaska. Our cruise ship had a stop in Haines, and I knew in my heart of hearts that this was a place I wanted, no, needed to visit. I wasn't disappointed. You won't be either. I'm Jeff. This is Backroads Tourist. Thanks for joining me today on Backroads Tourist. I'm Jeff. We're in Haines, Alaska. And what do you do in Haines, Alaska? You visit the Hammer Museum. The Hammer Museum has thousands of hammers on display and even more in storage. I loved visiting this museum more than I really thought I would, and I had no idea that there were so many different kinds of hammers. There are railroad hammers, trade hammers, ceremonial hammers, you name it. They even have an ancient hammer that may have helped build the pyramids in Egypt. And as I was walking around, I had the chance to talk to Dave Paul. He's the founder of the museum. And I asked him a few questions and got some great stories, too. So, 2,500 in storage, and then... No, oh, 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 okay. A lot more in storage. Man. Thousands and thousands in storage. I just can't imagine more than what you have here, but I guess, you know, people are inventive. Yeah, and we've had some good... We had one donation of uh, 900 hammers. Just wow. one, one collector's family, you know, sent us... Uh, well, we had to go down and ship up yeah. 900 hammers. So. That's great. So do you have any celebrity hammers? I mean, I saw the uh, Tim Allen one back there. That is about it. We, yeah. you know, my wife wrote to Tim when we started the museum yeah. back 20 years ago. He was quick. He sent us his, he signed a hammer and sent it to us. And the, so she, after that, she tried to see Jimmy Carter's library to get Jimmy, because he's he was Habitat yeah. for Humanity. Yeah, yeah. But no luck on that one. And then she wrote to Prince Charles to see if he would uh, send a polo mallet, you know, and about a year went by, we didn't hear anything, and then all of a sudden we got this letter from the Buckingham Palace saying, no, Prince Charles didn't want to donate the polo mallet there. This one is actually used on a cover of a book, it's right behind you right there. This one right here, which is all about murder and robbery, and so it's probably not a good idea to rob someone who uses this as like their daily implement. So I think we should start handing out to like 7-Eleven cashiers, bring that crime right down a little bit. Sign my petition. Uh, over here is our trade wall. These are all trade hammers. To hey, please like this video and consider subscribing to the Backroads Tourist Channel for visits to more quirky, offbeat, and wonderful places like this. Okay, when I visited the museum, I heard a story. I don't know if this story is true or not, but it's just crazy enough that it might be true. I heard that author J.K. Rowling is banned from this museum. The story is that a while back, she was in Haines, and I don't know why, but evidently she was, and she was visiting the Hammer Museum. Now, evidently, she made a disparaging comment that this wasn't a true Hammer Museum because they also displayed mallets. Well, I guess those were fighting words up in Alaska, and so the author of all those Harry Potter books is no longer welcome at the museum. Ms. Rowling, if you're watching this, can you confirm or deny this story? I'll be waiting to hear from you. It's truly amazing and enlightening to learn just how many different kinds of hammers exist. It's something you probably don't think about every day, but did you realize 
There's even a hammer specially designed for your bunghole. Wet in a barrel, it got shipped. When you got it at your end, you would take a metal tube and a mallet like this one, and you would pop the bunghole in it. They were shipped solid. It's your arm. It doesn't break arms. It's shattered. It's got to put it on here. And the thousands of veterans after the Civil War walked around. Well, I'm here to help with crowd control. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? He had a claw head hammer down there. He built it as well. He just likes to tool around. He likes to create things, and he's constantly looking for new places to put hammers. Did not have yeah. iron works. They used dolerite for, for tools. And the sandstone blocks that the pyramids are made of, if you've ever seen them, they're right here. So, if you had a check and you needed a cash for it or cancel, Okay, this is a double handed hammer right here. Now over here on this wall, this is our patent wall. Throughout the 19th century, in the days of Edison, if you wanted a patent to protect your intellectual property, you had to have a prototype first. You had to so if you're looking to visit one of the quirkiest, oddest, and most fascinating museums in the world, and you aren't J.K. Rowling, you'll want to visit the Hammer Museum in Haines, Alaska. It's going to really open your eyes to the diverse uses for this striking tool that we all take for granted. Thank you so much for watching today and for coming along with me as I visit little known fun places all across the country. I'm Jeff and I'll see you on the back roads.